Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Marvel Arrival. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we will go in your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end, we're going to go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again, capture, capture, make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing uh, I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. Just before going inside of the game, uh, you can use a software called DLSS Swapper. I have a full dedicated video on my uh, YouTube channel. So open Marvel Rival. So by default, we're going to reset it. The version of DLSS they are using is 3.5.1. 
So you just have to click on it and use the latest one to have a better image quality. So 3.8.1. For now, it's working. Uh, sometimes some like multiplayer game, they're like uh, forcing it by their server. So it just like uh, override it. But I did a, a, play a couple of games and I didn't have any issue with it. So right now, 3.8.1 is working on Marvel Rivals. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all in the display mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. You're gonna add a little bit of input lag and uh, gonna lose some FPS if you're using borderless or window. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native, so in my case it's 1440p, really depend on your main monitor. After that, the super resolution types. So you have a couple of options and I will explain you uh, how to use it. So first of all, I want to mention something. I'm going to start with NVIDIA user. Um, they're using the FSR 3.1. So technically, you can combine the FSR frame generation with the LSS. So if you have an RTX 2000 and 3000 uh, series, I recommend to use the LSS because it's a little bit better than FSR in this game. Use something like ultra quality or quality. Quality will give you like 15% boost in your FPS. And ultra quality will provide you uh, something like 10%. And after that, you can combine it with frame generation. It will add you another 40% uh, in your FPS. It's pretty crazy. You also have the resolution sharpening that you can adjust. By default, it's at 80. If you feel that your game is uh, too blurry, go higher. And if you feel that it looks too much like an Instagram filter, go lower. In my case, I'm playing at 70. After that, if you have uh, a 4000 series NVIDIA, Again, go with the LSS. Uh, you can use the DLSS frame generation, but a weird thing is right now, I did test FSR with frame gen from AMD. And for an example, I was like in a specific uh, location at 320 FPS. If I was using the DLSS plus the DLSS frame generation, I was at like 325, so a little bit better. But when I combined DLSS with FSR frame generation, I was at 345. So technically, the best combo to have like the most of your FPS is the LSS with frame generation. Uh, and I didn't see a big difference, honestly, in my input lag and image quality between NVIDIA and FSR. So definitely, even, even if you have a 4000, you can definitely do use this combo. Or if not, just use the DLSS one. If you have an AMD car, for sure, go with F FSR. And it's pretty much the same combination. Use quality or ultra quality, depending on how much FPS that you want. And use the frame gen over there. So let's go back to the LSS and the LSS over there. So after that, you have a couple of stuff that you can change. Make sure also you're using the low latency uh, reflex if it's available to you. Uh, you can limit your FPS, show your FPS, and also see your uh, ping and your packet loss in game. So if you want to activate that, you can do that over there. After that, in the graphics section, so first of all, global illumination. I recommend to go with low quality. Uh, you will have better visibility and also uh, more FPS. Don't use Lumen in any game. It's tanking your FPS like crazy. So this one will provide you a nice 8% boost versus the Ultra over there. Uh, reflection quality, use screen space reflection. Don't use the Lumen. You're going to gain a nice 6% over there. Model detail, honestly, it's like 1% for each bracket. So you can easily use I. At Ultra, you're going to lose 3%. So my recommendation is I to have a good balance. Post-processing, I recommend to go with low. Nice 5% boost in your FPS and also less uh, blurriness in the game. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like a competitive game. So don't go too crazy with post-processing. Shadow detail, you can expect 3 to 4% boost for each bracket. I recommend to go with medium because at low, it's tough to see enemies uh, like on the other side of a wall. Uh, so it's tough to see that their shadow. So my recommendation is go with medium. Texture, if you have 8 gig of VRAM on your GPU, go ultra. 6 gig high, uh, medium at 4 gig and less than 4 gig, go with low. Effect detail, I recommend to go with low on any GPU. Uh, when you're fighting, you don't want some random drops in your FPS, like 30, 35%. So definitely go with low. And the foliage quality, I recommend to go with medium. You're going to get a nice 4% boost over there. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, Marvel Arrival Guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.